Hey guys and welcome back to Terra Firma Punk Play today on Landstrider server as we have been playing every day so far, literally every day this week. Managed to get like two episodes out for three days worth of gameplay so that's that's pretty good there. Uh, last time we were going around we were doing all sorts of pottery stuff and today what I've done is I've gone around and collected 10 native copper nuggets. You can see that we've got them in here. Literally all I was doing was bashing away at some little ore vein out there. Uh, just totally ruining the bits to be honest. Totally ruining all the, the bits because we could, could have tug it out with a uh, pickaxe but I didn't have a pickaxe so I've smashed it all up with my hammer and unfortunately that means you only get one native copper nugget per ore block and, and that's just inefficient that is just inefficient okay so what we're going to do is fill that up oh great well i was going to fill that up what i'm going to do is fill this up and let it burn and then when morning oh there we go that that's what the problem was and then when morning rolls around i am going to bring you back where we should hopefully have a whole load of liquid copper to turn into something what is what are we going to turn it into well if i just do this turn around and have a look in here you can see i've stashed a whole load of molds here what i'm actually going to do is turn it into a pick or a pick head anyway so that we can go and can make proper use of the ore veins that i will show you in the morning well it's morning and they seem to be quite keen on coming in here and oh did that actually just do a point damage there no he's pushed me around all right it's morning and these guys seem quite keen on coming in to visit me uh we're not going to let them though we're just going to let them burn to death up there because that's the type of horrible person i am uh this is very nearly done but i forgot about this one here that we did last episode if we go and pick up the large vessel you'll see it's uh, already been made here by someone we can do all sorts of things with that, but the one thing that we really want to do is reads. It's the wrong type of read. Uh is just make sure that we've got this quest done. The, the quest has been done. Now there is something else I also have in here. This sugar cane. Now this sugar cane cannot be used in any sort of food preparation. You see I've got my food preparation area over here, and if I try and throw this in it's just not gonna do it and if we have a look on the uses you can see that's because we need to put it into a vessel or a barrel with 60 mill millibuckets of fresh water to turn it into sugar after eight hours time now i think that is something we can do but i don't know how we're going to fill this with water this is the the real question oh did that do it oh now i'm now overburdened how do i ah, i put that on my back like that we're figuring this out live and direct guys brilliant so we then take this off my back and pop it down there it should be full of water it's not full of water so how was i overburdened when it's not full of water I don't know. I don't know, because that's kind of what I was trying to do. Maybe we could do it with a jug, uh, but we've got more important things. In fact, not more important, just more timed things to worry about over here. So you can see we've got 100 copper units. If we take my pick mould, open up the ceramic vessel, we've got 100 copper units in there. I've got to pull that out. Landstrider has an amazing texture pack for this bit, and I've really got to try and get hold of him and figure out exactly how he's done it. Um, it was all to do with using like 1.6 texture packs of all things, 1.6, and you've got to change like the meta tag file on it or something like that. It's 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 a lot of work by the looks of it. It is a lot of work. But I'm going to go show you where I've been getting all my copper from recently. If we take a wander down here, oh, let's uh, have a quick look at this sluice. I've been throwing the odd thing in it. Well, we're overworked now, but we've got a chipped ruby and a small spherulite. I think we're going to ignore that for now. Is this cold enough to actually just pull straight out? It is. Oh, we broke the copper mould. Uh, the, the pickaxe up mould. That is unfortunate. Right. Copper pickaxe. A tool that I haven't yet to use. Hey, I got a time to mine finally achievement. That's that's good. There's the finally, like, you know, you've been playing for f three days now. What is going on? Sort it out. I don't know. It might be. It might be. So, some of you might have been wondering where I've been getting these little copper nuggets from. Well, down here, yeah, you can see it. There is an awful lot of cop. Oh man, go away! This is this is not what I want. Um. Oh, oh man! Oh, this is this is double not what I want. Okay, do you reckon we can push our way through? I don't think we can. Uh, ah, ah, this way, please, up the ladder. Ah, we'll just leave them down there, right? Whoa! What was that? Oh well, I'm not going to be digging my way down there, I'll tell you that for free. Uh, there is a torch over here, brilliant, I'm going to knock that one. And there's also a torch up there, that's good. Okay, now when I attack this with my hammer, I only got one copper nugget out of it, so I'm really interested to see what happens. Look how well that popped. 
One copper nugget? Oh, it's a big copper nugget. Look at that. It's different from the normal ones that we do. The, see, this is a native copper nugget, and that's a native copper nugget. Oh, this is native copper, and this is native copper nugget. Okay, that's cool. 25 units as opposed to the 10. Oh, that's brilliant. Okay, so I'm going to spend some time um, clearing this bit out. Uh, I'm not sure what we're going to do about these down here. I mean, I'm, like, nearly dead. Uh, so, I yeah, I'm going to avoid them like bubonic plague, I believe. So the rain gives me an idea. We were trying to fill up my vessel with some water, and for some reason it didn't work. But I reckon if we get back, just make sure there's no mobs over there. This does appear to be some sort of thunderstorm as well, which is not the best. But if we make our way back here, we should be able to pick up that vessel. I wonder whether the pick is the tool for this. Bye-bye, um, <laughs> Enderman. Oh, I bet he's having a bad time. I bet he's having a bad time. So we're going to pick this up like this. Hopefully nothing's going to come... I broke it. Oh, no, there it is. Oh, man, I thought we'd full-on broken it there. So I'm going to pop that there, and hopefully this should just kind of fill up with water now. Yeah, look at that. Brilliant. Oh, that's all That's all we want. Uh, and then it was something like 60 millibuckets, right? So I'm actually just going to leave that to fill up. See what happens if it, if it fills up completely. Okay, so today's episode is mainly going to be about getting myself ready to uh, travel forth and go find Landstrider. Uh, or at least make my way the two or three kilometres to get a little bit closer to Landstrider. Because I'd, I'd like to play with people. The, these f per first few episodes have been a little manic. So I've not been able to hang around and, and hang with people like I would like to. Uh, because mainly I've been worried about death. I haven't got any logs left that is most unfortunate i'm not gonna do so today am i gonna do so today i don't know let's go out and oh no no i'm not is that... all right guys i think we're gonna have to wait until this thunderstorm passes i don't know if we can get some sleep somewhere uh but i will definitely be making myself some food and just basically chilling out until i can do something with all this stuff i've just got sheep orgy in the hot springs Ah, strange things happen in this pack. Oh man, you know when you've been doing something for a while and then you look up over at your recording software and you're like, ah, something went wrong and I've not been recording. Well, I kind of did that just now. You can see that I've taken the pottery out of here, um, which gave us that. I then used the saw mould that I had kept in here to make a saw. I then used the stick to make the actual saw, at which point I managed to, I will show you here, cut these into lumber you combine four lumber to make a plank as in the classic minecraft plank and then you use four of those to make the workbench which opened this up for me i'm sorry i didn't get that on video i'm not actually sure what happened there it was literally like 30 seconds you see how quickly i talked about it just now that was about how quick i did it in uh also we have some meat here oh someone was in with me i did not realize so i have some meat here that i've been collecting off of these guys uh been killing them as and when I can. It takes a long time. You can see up there, they've got thousands of life, and every hit only does about 50, which is quite poor. Um, yeah, so that's about everything I've been doing. What I've been trying to do is make this fishing rod. So you can see we did that. It was literally, as you would imagine, uh, I had some sticks, and if you remember last episode, I got some string from one of the quests. I always loved this guy up here looking around. Um, so we combine that to get the fishing rod, and that should... Oh, missed the thing I was going for. And that should actually have solved a quest for us. Uh, in here somewhere, the survivalist. Wonderful. That was this quest. Now, I'm not going to grab this stuff, because as always, uh, I feel it's better to keep this in here until I've just made myself a lovely little place to live. Which is what we're going to be doing... For the rest of this episode, well, we're going to go out and find a place to live. Who knows what's going to happen? This is still liquid at the moment. We can we can keep that and we can warm it up as time goes on. Um, when the rain and the sun, well, when the rain leaves and the sun arrives, I will bring you back and we will be making an epic journey. I'm probably going to make a whole load of these meat salads here. Oh, hello. It's not letting me look in, in it all of a sudden. Ah, uh, the internet was going so well for so long. Uh, so I've got a load of meat from the mutton over there. You know, the sheep. Um, so I'm going to be making lots of meat salads, meat and seaweed salad. It, it's tasty, beautiful. And then I'm going to fill up a vessel with all of them and go for a walk. All right, yeah, so I will see you in a bit. All right, the sun has uh, broken out and the rain has stopped. I'm just going to make myself one more salad. You can see that I've got a whole 
vessel full here. Oh, wow, I really thought I'd lost it then for a second. Uh, and I think it's time to get rolling. We do, of course, have some meath here, though. Oh, look, we can just put them together like that. Uh, and that should enable me to get inside this ceramic pot here. Take this out. You, you can you can see what's coming, right? You know what's going to happen. Oh, yeah. Extra hearts. Okay, before we go anywhere, I'm going to unseal that and grab that. I don't know if it's going to be useful for anything other than just walking along and being like, ooh, look what I got here. We're going to avoid him. We're going to avoid him. Uh, it's a lot easier to kill stuff when you are dealing with... Um, Dealing with them behind a little hole. Anyway, I am going to literally be wandering that way. Maybe, maybe that way. I've got to get to like minus 5,000, minus 1,000. Something like that. And as you can see but from the number underneath my minimap, I've got a bit of a way to go. So I will bring you back, as always, if anything interesting happens on the wander. I should imagine the next interesting thing is going to be a coastline. Oh, look, the lilies are, are, like, flowering. That's very interesting. It must be... Hang about. So, one of the things we've not really talked about in this game is the fact that there are seasons. Wow, well, we're in autumn already. When I logged in this morning, we were in uh, late spring. So, it looks like the the day goes... or the year goes pretty fast in the course of days. I mean, literally, I've only been mucking around for... Well, most of a morning, let's be honest. It is uh, hours since I started, but... We would have thought it would have taken longer to get through an entire season. Oh, wow. Whoa, 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 whoa. I don't know what's getting me. I don't know what's getting me. Wow, I couldn't even see them. Could you see them? I couldn't see them. Oh, this is not good. Oh, this is so super not good. Okay, we're going to have to go try and get our backpack as quick as possible. Um, all right, well, there we go. I was just talking to you about stuff and suddenly a death happened. Um... Wasn't quite what I was expecting. I was having a lovely stroll through the forest then and everything. Well, of course, when I died, the sun was setting, so uh, I really needed to dive in here and keep myself safe. But now, before the sun even gets up... Uh, no, this might be a little bit premature, but we're going to try it. We're going to make our way over there. I mean, the moon is falling. It's stuttering. Oh, that's not great. But the moon is falling, so we should be able to make our way. And I'm going to be, like, super aware of all the little red dots on my, my video screen here. That said, it doesn't seem to cover everything. I keep seeing extra stuff uh, kind of in front of me here that doesn't appear on my map. But we, we should be all right. And I'm really just waiting for that sun to rise. It should be seconds. Seconds to go. Um, let's just try and nip in between here. You can see that these trees are in between on my mini-map. Okay, yeah, I, I will uh, bring you back when we're less than 100 meters away, I suppose. Oh, it's a bear. Run, 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 run. Okay, so my plan is literally to uh, dash in there as fast as possible. Grab that. He's still behind me, isn't he? Look, look on my map. Oh, no, it's, it's gone. Okay, cool. Uh, hope that the mosquitoes have despawned. But, yeah, I'm just going to run in, smash it all up, and run away. We must have entered a swamp area at some point. Yeah, in fact, that's what this stuff all was. When I was like, oh, look at the lily pads. I should have been like, look at the lily pads. Let's be aware of mosquitoes. So, look at the lily pads. Let's be aware of mosquitoes. There at least seems to be at least one over by my death point. That is unfortunate, to say the least. Um, let's see if we can't, I don't know, lead them off or something like that. I mean, if I could dive in there and then just make my escape, that would be great. Um, is there anything tracking towards me? I don't see anything. Okay, time to go. Time to go. I, uh, did I get my stuff? I don't know. I do not know. Let's drop that flower because that's, that's not the one. No, I did not get anywhere near all of my stuff. Okay, well, unfortunately, we're now like super low of health. Um, he didn't even follow me away, did he? Um, maybe we can do this this way, though. I mean, I just need to run through, right? Ah, oh, there he is. There he is. Let's keep running. Oh, uh, really, these leaves. Really, these leaves. I've lost my death marker already. There it is. Okay, there's all my stuff. Pick it all up. Oh, come on, lag. Do it for me. Ah. You know what? I might even have to call in some help for this one. That's two deaths in one go. That's that's not amazing. Okay, we're starting to get close. I'm going to try and uh, sneak in there one more time before just giving up and going, right, I need assistance with this. Uh, it appears that if I stay around this way, we might even be able to get close without uh, triggering anyone. But I tell you what, all this death and stuff has got me triggered big style. I'm just like, nope, can't handle it anymore. 
really can't. I mean, look at that breaking up top there. Okay, is that all my stuff? I'm just going to get away from all the bad stuff here uh, before trying to sort my inventory out. And I'm going to go find a big rock to dig myself under because, wow, look at all this stuff here. Let's just clear my inventory out. We don't need all this here. I do want that and that and that needs to be on and stuff like that. All right, I'm going to keep moving now and, yeah, try and avoid any and all red dots up on my map. Maybe go and find a coastline and hold up there for the night. How much of the day did I use? Exactly half the day trying to get my stuff there. And two lives. Not great, not great. I mean, as it is, wherever we set up, we're probably going to have to put down three graves. Um, maybe, maybe we could actually just go and pop them where we die. What are this? What are this? A raspberry brush. I would like some of your raspberries. Thank you. Grab them with the knife so we can get the actual bush themselves. I think that's how that works. I'm only going to grab the two. Maybe I want to have wanted to have grabbed more, but yeah, that's that's the thing. Um, okay, I need to try and keep uh, my eye out for bits of rock like this because these are the easiest things, at least from what I've found, to hide under. Also, a little bit of extra copper. Don't mind if I. Oh, come on. Don't mind if I do. Nice. Okay, brilliant. Oh, look, there's a new mineral in the side of the hill here. Wonder, what, wonder what this is. Let's go up and have a look. Uh, I mean, this is this is actually a pretty stunning bit of landscape. To, this is iron, okay. This is actually a pretty stunning bit of landscape we've got around here. I mean, if it wasn't so far away from everybody, I'd be like, yeah, this is a good place to settle. Um, we could build like a tower up top, maybe an observatory. Ah, oh, yeah, straight up an observatory with a castle kind of supporting it, and then like a huge boiler room somewhere. Yeah, that that's amazing. Well, stay tuned for that, guys, because I'm definitely getting some sort of idea for what base we're going to be building. Oh wow! Ah, oh, I can't believe you did it, you maniacs! You may no. Uh, well, what's this? Statue of Liberty type thing. Now I do wonder whether it's actually got scary stuff inside or not. I, I don't think I want to check it out until I have a base and some tool. Well, I've got some tools, but a base and maybe a nice weapon, something that I don't have to meet people, like fight people hand to hand. I'm gonna grab this copper whilst I'm here because that just seems like a great idea. Oh, I must be having a religious visitation. The burning bush is there. Let's go and have a look at what's actually causing the burning. There's also, like, cows and stuff there. Hey, how's it going, guys? Um, <laughs> oh, what? Come on, come on, get in the lava. No, he doesn't like that at all. Uh, there is some sulfur and stuff to be had around here, but that is not really why I'm here. As you can tell, night time is approaching, so what I'm going to do is, look, we've got this nice little rock here. Uh, I'm going to try and dig my way underneath. No, okay. There'll be a edge here somewhere. There normally is. Maybe this is all the way down into the rock layers. Uh, okay, well, let's just dig it out. We got a pickaxe. Let's let's do it. All right, that's a very deep hole. What I'm going to do is can I fill it up like that? I can. Brilliant. I didn't really want to do that straight away though, did we? Oh. Have I pushed stuff into the floor? No, 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 I haven't. Uh, okay, so we're going to try and widen this all out. Uh, the server will catch up eventually. Uh, it kind of looks like it's doing all right, and then the server kind of does its, like, check thing, and some of, the, some of the blocks will bounce back. Not a big issue, but one that I'd rather not be facing. Where did all my of these go? Huh? Okay, well, I've obviously lost my uh, special status of having no uh, of having the the craft bench. I really wanted that just so I could um, make up some sort of blocking device. Now I'm not sure what we're gonna do. I was gonna try and see whether these would make a wall here. We can make a cob uh, a basalt stone wall, basalt. Okay, and with one of those placed like here and here, we should be able to be safe yes we are okay so i'm going to take the moment to actually show you guys something oh do i have any sticks there are my sticks wonderful i packed them away i really thought i'd got rid of them all there um so you may have noticed back at base that there were lots of fires around that i hadn't placed down uh i'm now going to show you how the fire works you put three sticks on the floor and then you get your fire starter and you just kind of go at them on the floor there come on there we go and you end up with a nice little fire pit here now this is more for light than anything though i do have a bit of poultry here that we can cook that's nice i killed a pheasant on the way i know such, such a monster such a monster i'm not sure what we're gonna do with the uh, sugar either maybe this will, can all go together for a beautiful meal somewhere
Now, it took the best part of forever, but we have finally arrived at the Fish Inn. I've got to say, it is amazing to be here in person. I'm not sure if I can open that by hand or not, and I'm not even sure if I can get around here. But you know I'm going to go for a quick explore before I wrap up here, guys, because it's been great watching Landstrider do all his stuff on video, but it's not quite the same as being here. Actually, I'm not going to go in there and mess around with those. I, I'm going to be uh, in death quite quickly if I do that. Uh, I want to show you guys one thing before I disappear. I'm not sure if taking the boat is the best choice uh, on a sort of a live time recording. Yeah, you can see things things like to hang up a little bit in the boat. I'm, I'm not sure exactly why this is, but you know, that's, that's the thing. What we're going to do is we're just going to walk a little bit around this coastline. Uh, I'm going to leave that boat there just to confuse Landstrider. Uh, I'll be good fun. Uh, we're going to walk past the floating chest of uh, amazement uh, and swim past these islands over here. I'm going to do a little jump cut to with us being just over by that bit of rock that's coming into view there. Okay, just to give you guys an idea, it's just all despawning over there. That's where we were at the fish inn, and we're just going to swim over this way, because this is kind of the mountain that I want to live on. If it's not too close to Land Strider and he doesn't feel like I'm stepping on his toes, uh, I really would like to build something, not on top of this one, the one just behind it, though the little plateau here also does look pretty nice. I'd like to kind of claim all these mountains if I can. I, I, I don't know if that's overstepping my bounds. I don't, I don't imagine so. There's a lot of room in almost every Minecraft world. And I'm now just outside of the draw distance for him, so I think that should all work out fine. So this area around here looks absolutely lovely. Uh, as I say, there's a plateau up there and a plateau at the back. And then back there somewhere, there's another mountain that I would really like to build on. But unfortunately, I have run out of things to be doing today, or time really, for this episode. And I am going to say thank you very much for joining me for this episode. I will see you next time. Well, I'm going to spend some time building around this area. Maybe do a little bit of a survey time lapse uh, beforehand just so I can show you guys what I see. But yes, I will see you then when we're going to do that. Bye!